Welcome to week number 11 of my year one rebuild dynasty series as we are trying to get the top outside linebacker and the top prospect in the nation to our team. We're trying to get the interest a little bit more up so I can offer him a scholarship and hopefully we be able to get him committed to our team. So we are closing in on that. As for our next match, we're going to be facing a, another somewhat terrible team, the Lake Erie State Evil Rabbits. They're ranked 65 in the nation. Their record is currently at 5-5. Five and five. So I was pretty lucky to get, you know, back-to-back -back somewhat scrub teams to pretty much get me back into rhythm and have playoff hopes. As Evil Rabbits has an 83 overall team, 87 overall defense, and a 78 overall offense. And it's crazy how close to these certain overalls, either defense or offense or as a team, how they play to those respective ratings. And you guys have seen it throughout the season, the up and downs between, you know, Subpar teams, trash teams, dominant teams. Maximum Football has really done this simulation justice when it comes to this football game. It makes every single game very unique and challenging in this way because you're going into the game unexpected. You never know what can happen. Now, we hold the Rabbits to just a field goal, which they miss, which is great because that gives us a little bit of momentum. I started off with um, passing the ball, and I seen your guys' comments where you guys complain about certain reads where I'm completely blind and there's wide open players. Now you guys got to understand from the different variety of teams I've been facing, the different types of pressure, um, unexpected pressure, and based off the reads. I'm looking at certain players I'm anticipating that's going to be open based off the look. But when I look at the defense and how they play, it's so quick. It makes me change my mind and messes up my reads. And that's why you guys see that I miss a lot of opportunities or hanging on to the ball too long. This game is really challenging when it comes to how the defense plays and um, just the difference, a big difference that is when it comes to um, making reads and all that stuff because I'm so used to the college football and Madden way where things was so much more easier. Like you take a look at this dot, having a little bit more speed receivers as I improve them over time. And when I'm playing trash teams, you guys do see that difference. But anyways, when I talk about the defense in this game, it's really challenging because you got all these looping blitz, which I'm going to showcase a couple plays from this match alone that showcases how challenging and unique the um, defense is and how difficult reads can be at times. You guys have noticed when I play top teams that I was getting pretty much dominated at the line of scrimmage, especially my right guard, which I just boosted up from last week's match, which you guys have seen. And... It has been showcasing a big difference for holding up on the interior on the right D tackle against my right guard. Now, right here, you guys see I misjudged a timing um, out route. I threw it too early, threw it right behind my receiver for interception. So, also, the timing of passes um, showcases very well in this game, and it reflects all based off user skill. Now, you take a look at this play right here. So I'm already looking at certain players I want to throw the ball to. And there's times where it may look like it's man defense. Some players are put off into zone and the lurking messes up your reads. Now this was full on man defense, but you know, I wasn't expecting pressure because my line did hold up, but you have times where pressure does happen and the timing of holding the ball, it's always different. And clearly, it was lockdown defense regardless, but you have moments like that. And then you have moments like this where they can pretty much give you the same look, but they will give you a different type of play. So when you take a look at it, it looks like identical, which I'm a flashback to last play where it looks like they're just running cover one man defense. 
but you guys saw what happened. It was an all-out blitz, looping blitz, confusion blitz, whatever you want to call it. It's the fact that they can show the same look, but it's a different play. So flashing back to last play, a very identical lineup based off, you know, the different formation look, but how the defense shows it, it looks like they're going to do the exact same thing. And that's the biggest difference when it comes to um, maximum football and college football or Madden, that maximum football also comes down to strategy play calling and how they can disguise what they're going to run. So you take a look at the last play once again. You know, it was pressure from the D-line. It was just man defense from behind. And then you look at the next play where they show that same look, but they're going to pretty much blitz. And look how my line tries to pick the correct players, but that extra blitzing player, which is looping around from the right tackle side, he ends up getting pressure on your board. And it happens so fast that it's unexpected, and you guys see how I react. I mean, it continues switches up. So not only does ratings have a factor and the difficulty of that, but it's also strategy play calling. Now, you see the CPU make a play right here, but overall, that is why you guys continue to see, like, I know I do have misreads from time to time, but it's the paranoia of when to expect um, pressure and when to not expect pressure and then just making reads. Now, right here, this is the first time I ever was able to block a extra point or a field goal. So I took this back to the crib. So this was a big momentum boost that we was able to get. But continuing on throughout this match, you know, it was a pretty balanced match between the two. For the most part, my defense was able to lock up their offense. Their offense wasn't able to do too much outside of that one play that they was able to get from the running back. And then I still can't make a freaking field goal attempt. Like, it looks easy to kick a field goal, but trying to line up the angle of the arrow, sometimes it seems like it's going to be correct, but then you end up missing it. So I guess it's also based off, you know, the ratings from the kicker. So it's just all learning, and um, that's the challenge of the game. Maximum football really delivers, you know, a unique style of somewhat difficulty and challenging way to play this game and that's why it's more catered to simulation football instead of what you know the arcade sim style that madden college football presents and i really think that defense is well done in this game because how unique the formations are how they line up how the play calling happens it can always make it um very challenging when you anticipate something pre-snap read and you're thinking that oh they're going to give you this look but they give you something else it's just very unique how it's done in this game we do end up getting a big win even though it's not a blowout win we was able to you know get a little bit of separation as that game we struggle a little bit more just for the sole purpose because how that defense was able to send different looks at your boy um, you guys seen that their defense was much better than the offense. And that's the thing that helped us out is that their offense wasn't great enough to get, you know, more points than they should have. And our defense was able to pretty much lock up. Now you guys are taking a look at the results from this uh, week's matchups. And shockingly, you know, seeing the top teams that was dominating throughout the season continue to lose. So that is shocking. And now we are dwindling down to the few remaining dominant teams, which literally showcases how good they are and see how they're going to be in the playoffs, which I hope they end up losing so I don't have to play them. But you guys see right here, like Jackals, this is their second time losing. And it's just shocking to see these certain teams to me of them losing. But we're able to continue to um, um, recover, getting wins, and keeping our playoff hopes alive. We got one more week. I'm pretty sure we're already 
you know, confirmed to be in, but we want to also get our rank um, back up there because we have to take advantage for those top teams that are ending up losing, especially um, teams that are losing back to back. That was very dominant throughout the season, and it helps us to get back up in the rankings. So there are three teams remaining that are undefeated so far and your boy is hopping up the rankings we drop from 15 or rise from 15 to i believe rank 11 so that's a big plus we're getting back up there to where we belong and i can't wait till you guys get your hands on the experience especially for the haters that's complaining about oh that guy was wide open why didn't you hit him you're hanging on the ball too long guys it looks completely different it looks easier from watching the videos compared to actually playing the game yes when i go back and edit i see the missed opportunities and i own up to it but like i said i have my initial reads i'm looking at what i'm anticipating based off the look it's completely different when you're playing the game especially the speed difference like Madden in college football, it's so easy for me to make those reads, anticipate the reads. Compared to maximum football, it's a completely different and unique challenging style that this game presents a more simulation football aspect compared to EA Sports. And you have to actually experience these type of moments. I mean, I can't make up the AI dominating against me. Like, that is just how good those top teams were earlier on in the season. And we're about to see how they do, or how especially I do in the playoffs. And I'm looking forward to that. But, guys, trust me, I'm seeing this when I'm editing the videos. But during the gameplay, it's like, you know, yeah, I missed those opportunities. But you got to understand, the game is not a repetitive where... You're able to do the same thing over and over or anticipate the same play call over and over. It's different every single time. That's why this game is very unique and challenging. Like I showcase on college football where I can do that same RPO play out of gun bunch and dominate just based off what my opponents um, do defensively wise because it's the same look and how they play is the same style which makes me anticipate certain players to be open consistently it's different on here i can't do that same method from ea sports games to maximum football that's the biggest difference and the only thing that i can say is that you guys have to experience the game for yourself i mean flashing back to this play that happened to me against the knights where the running back literally fakes me the hell out and then I go to use a tackle on me and gives me the stiff arm. Like, this is the greatest play I have ever witnessed by the CPU doing this against me. And the reason that it makes it unique as well is that, you know, getting computer assistant tackles like EA Sports has, it's a consistent, you know, outcome for you to get a guaranteed tackle. It's different in this game. Like, you can't expect every single tackle to be guaranteed. Or... Um, every single moment that you think you should have be guaranteed based off user skills. Like you guys see me a, a lot miss a lot of user tackles because it takes user skills and no computer assistance to make a tackle for you. Like right here, I dove too early in front of the running back. Um, I miss and then the running back's able to bully through and truck stick a defender over to break free. Now, at speed, it made it look a little bit unrealistic, but you slow it down, you see how realistic it looks. You don't see suctioning or morphing. Like, if that was mad in college football, from me literally missing the running back because my anticipation tackling, I would literally morph from the ground into like a hit stick or a mid-form tackle. You don't see that happening in maximum football. Anyways, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. I'm out. Peace.